Oh, well, that's my fault. First I'm thinking, hit me in the face and tell to be sucked up. My mouth bleeding and I can only cry. A lot of those girls come from countries that have built-in violence against women. In Moldova, there's a saying that the woman who is not beaten is like the house that's not clean. Driver makes to walk behind their camels during two days. Almost no food. One cup only of water at night. I feel like slaves in Bible. My God has punished me for my sins. I haven't had time to do all the research you ladies have done on the subject. Well then, be my guest. Two Israeli guys lock us in empty house, and we must sleep on dirt floor like animal. Then they tell to us, take off all your clothes. It's so humiliation. Well, I think they'll be surprised. They're shocked. They look at us in every way. One man drive me and Russian girl called Lydia to apartment near to see. She is beautiful, yes, but only make me feel more I am prison. Nor has many locks in. Big guy with dog face called Abby. He sits in the hall. Our guard. But they make us put on cheap panty. You can see through it. I'll see what I can get through. Hmm. One man called Balau Bayit is the owner of house. He say to us, I pay much money for you. And to pay me back, you give sex to customers we send to you. If you do not obey, you get hurt. We see dog face of me. And we know it's true. That night, for the first time in my life, I feel what it is to be whole. I must have fuck eight guys. I feel so terrible, so ashamed. I take shower after each one, but I cannot to wash away filth inside me. The subject is anything but big. What the hell, Noah, makes me stay mad? In four months, I sleep with hundreds of men.